Hi and welcome to Spice and Pants. Today we are going to make this traditional Singapore snack known as Moati or in English we call it steamed glutinous rice cake. So let's start cooking. Now I'm going to make the fragrant shallot oil. Heat up a pan, add in half a cup of oil. We wait for the oil to heat up a little bit before we put in the shallots. Once the oil has heated up, we we'll add in the sliced shallots. This is approximately 10 pieces of shallots sliced. So if you want your moati to taste good, this is a very important step to take because we need the oil to make the moati dough. Now I'm this over medium to low heat. Don't turn the heat up too high because we don't want to burn these shallots. We can use this for all our other dishes, the shallots itself, but we need the oil for this. Keep stirring them. Make sure you don't burn them. When the shallots turn to a light golden brown, you can take them out already. Because if you wait too long, they will burn very, very easily. Now we are almost done. We will now drain the oil out. Just pour the oil. Sieve it through the strainer and let the oil cool down. Now we are going to make the flour solution for the moati. I have with me over here one cup of glutinous rice flour. I'm going to add in 200 milliliters of water. Mix them up well. And in this mixture, I'm going to add the shallots oil that we made just now, one tablespoon of it. So that it won't stick to the pan easily. And this dough will be very very fragrant. Once you have mixed them up well, we'll go and fry the dough now. Add in the shallot oil, 3 tablespoons or so. Swirl the oil around. This will make cooking the mochi so much easier. And because of the fragrance from the shallot oil, your mochi is going to be heavenly. So now we will pour the Glutinous rice mixture in. Remember to cook this over low heat. Okay, using a pair of chopsticks, we will just need to do this. Keep stirring them. Don't stop. We need to form this into a shining and soft dough. Right, fold them. Keep folding them. It will be done when the color is uniform and you have a sticky, chewy kind of dough. That's the result that we want. A couple of minutes more. This is important, you need to fold them so that the flour will be cooked. Always remember use low heat. We don't want to char or even burn the dough. But it's getting very sticky now as you can see. We're almost done. Right, you can see that the color is very uniform. That means the flour is cooked already. I'll just do this for another few minutes more just to increase the intensity of the chewiness. Sometimes we call this the chewing gum of the yeast because it's really really chewy and it's very very nice. Later we just coat this with grounded peanuts. You can make your own ground peanuts or for my case actually I bought it from the store, readily made. If you like it to have a little bit more better fragrance, what you need to do is just add in some sesame seed into your grounded peanut. Okay, we are almost done. It's a very easy to do dish and this is very popular with both kids and adults. Simple enough, this dish, very very simple. So once it becomes this very shining and smooth dough, it's ready to be served. So we'll prepare the grounded peanut on the tray and then we'll cut this up and coat generously with peanut on this beautiful dough. So let's go and do the second step now. 
Now coat a little bit of oil on the tongs and scissors or whatever utensils you want to use to cut up the dough with. And just brush it so that the dough will not stick onto all these utensils. Okay, and now we are going to cut this up. Put a bit up, cut this up. Put it into your peanut, rounded peanut. Cut into smaller pieces. Work with the dough when it's a little bit on the hot side or warm. Otherwise, when you cool down way too much, it will not stick that easily. So cut them up and cut them into smaller pieces. Right. You will see the multi seller in the market doing this. They are very skillful because they are so used to cutting all this up. And we just mix this up, cover this with all the beautiful peanuts. The grounded peanut that I bought is actually laced with sugar, so I did not add in any more sugar inside here. But if you are making your own grounded peanuts, please do make sure to add in a little bit of sugar or as much as you want. So now we will serve this. Mochi is a traditional Singapore snack. I've always liked this since I was young. It's very simple to cook and yet it reminds me of my childhood days of days of Pasar Malam which means night market, fun fairs and stuff like that. It used to be found very very easily all around Singapore um, but in recent years there's only a selected few stores that I will actually patronize because of the quality itself. So I decided to show you how to cook this dish and hopefully this can recreate memories for yourself and also to create new memories for your children too. And I hope that I can share this dish with the rest of the world and I hope you'll try this dish also. Now the mochi is done, let's have a taste. Mm. Very soft, very chewy. Wow, this is really good. Now I can, when I'm eating this, I can actually remember how my mom actually brought me down to the Pasar Malam or Funfair, holding my hands, ordering 50 cents worth of this. Now 50 cents in previous year was like very, very big. So it's like twice the amount of what I'm eating over here. But now 50 cents, you can't even buy two or three pieces of this. So it's very cheap, very easy to recreate this at home. So I hope you will try this recipe. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. You want to so You cannot.